Hello and welcome to today's tutorial video. Today I'll be teaching you how to uh, child and parent your bones to uh, one another. We're going to be using a DOA model. We're going to be using uh, Demon Lord, which is uh, redo our Raiden's uh, Halloween outfit, his demon form, which I've been working on. I just haven't finished it because of other things. Pretty much what you're going to be doing today is we're going to be childing each of these bones to each other. The reason you have to child in the bone is because DOA models, uh, their armatures, their their main structure, like their their body to their to their head, is all connected. But uh, skirts, jackets, robes, ribbons, and stuff like that are unchild. So we have to go go up there we go and what we're going to do is we're going to child each and every one of these bones to one another using control and P and keep it offset pretty much make sure that if you're going to do it this way that you uh, turn on x-ray which if you don't know how to do that just go right here to where uh, this little guy is with his arms out you can use this too this is similar to uh, the original blender uh, the 2.49 B you can just set every piece up if you know the names of them but we're since we're we still got the model from the TMC to the to blender itself it it it's gonna have default names so what we're going to do is we're going to turn off uh, our cap lock and we're going to hit the slice or the, the angle and that's going to bring that. We're now going to uh, situate this model so we can we can get a, a fair grasp on where the bones are. As you can see it's a it's a jumbled mess. You really got to know what you're doing here. It can really uh, for some people it can really drive them bonkers. The best way I can tell you to do it is to uh, split this area and make another uh, one and just change the angle of approach so you can, uh, like, let's say you're starting here. So we would, we would angle that so we could make sure that if you want to come in closer, hold in shift, hit B, draw a box. And that will bring you up closer. So we're just going to bring this in. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these two pages to uh, add these bones together. So you're going to hold in shift, right click button, or your mouse, or your thing. You're going to hit control and P. And you're just going to keep doing this. You're going to keep all these offset. We're not going to do the entire model. I'm just showing you uh, the thing because I don't want to set here for about 45 minutes and do all these bones but I'm just showing you that uh, this is how you child and parent your bones parent is your parent bones will always be the root hip and the pelvis because that that's pretty much your parents for each thing and then like uh, your parent for your arms would be your shoulder one because all the other bones child off that if you get what I mean like the pelvis would be for the legs your spine lower would be for your spine to to your shoulders. Like I said, just control P, keep offset. One of the best advice I can I can pretty much tell somebody that's doing these is after you get a line done, just uh, hide them like this. Just use the lasso holding uh, the control. Use uh, the, the left button to lasso. Now H and just hide and just keep doing this. We'll do a couple lines of them. Hit A to unselect. Uh, hold in shift. Use the wheel to go up and down. Uh, hold it uh, Hold in control and use the wheel to go left to right. Uh, for a box thing, hold in shift, hit B, draw a line, and do that. That will bring you in closer. You can also zoom in by uh, pressing the period on your number control keys.
I'm just using the two as you can see so I can keep up with where my thing is. You can open up the many windows as you need if you think uh, that you need more. Please do because if you make a mistake don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. If you make a mistake you can just fix it later. You can if you want since uh, the new blender does an error for bones not being together. You can take the model after you get all your textures assigned and you can actually take it right into uh, XPS and uh, just manually rename all the bones in there then come back in here and then child them to one another if you know what you're doing. As again we're just using lasso because we got that set done. H to hide as always. And we'll just and you just keep doing this over and over and over until you get all these bones. Uh, I know this wasn't that long of a video, but I've got more coming. I've got quite a, a lot of videos. I'm going to also show you how to port this model yourself. Or if you uh, want me to port another model from the DOA game, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to show you how to port that model. We'll be getting into uh, our next video. We'll be on rigging models ourselves with uh, bones. I can give you a little preview of that right now, which we can go to, because uh, I did one on the stream to show uh, people how to do it, which I rigged uh, a Giver model someone sent me. I think this is the blender right here. Yeah, see, here's just a simple uh, armature rig. I'll be teaching you all how to do this. Which we can see if it's got weight to it. I'll show you all how to how to rig your own models with your own armatures, not using in-game models. It's not connected yet. Give me one second. Oh, I see what it is. This model is not right. Okay, I see what it is. But yeah, this is what I'll be teaching you is how to uh, rig your own models next. Uh, let me open XPS and I'll show you that model. Or if, if y'all want me to rig something else, I'm just going to do a simple bone rig. Here's the finished model. This was a model that was created on a in Blender by a, by a friend of mine. He sent me the model and asked me to rig it for him. And I used it as a as to show people on on a live stream how to how to hand rig your own models, which he has 21 bones exactly. And I'll show you how to add all these bones yourself, where you can rig a model yourself using the new Blender. That will be our next video. So I hope that y'all are enjoy that. This is SSPD 077. Same. Adios, guys.